Good morning, folks. As we watch Plasma dance around the departing Sunspot group, we've got much different news than we were expecting this morning. Instead of a strong CME impact, solar storm, and technological effects, we saw a weak impact, still building in strength this morning, though, and which triggered an Earth spot surge in the West Pacific, which cannot be ignored. But first things first. We've awaited CME impact from the M flare and ejection a few days ago. It hit last night at initially low speed and density, but in the hours that followed, both have begun to rise, and there could be further enhancements today. Thus far, we've only seen geomagnetic instability, the storm precursor. But folks, as soon as CME impact begins, the meteorological effects can take place. And these are the only non-global solar storm effects, meaning it actually does matter if it's day versus night because the L-shell compression and electron excitation between them deposits energy on the layers below, affecting cloud cover, albedo, and inducing storm invigoration. It was noontime over the Pacific, heading towards Australia, and the energy triggered the formation of tropical storms. We've got a cyclone and a cyclone candidate among these Earth spots here, and the telltale sign that it was a ground-to-space connection, the lithosphere is becoming unstable too. In what the Vanuatu government calls an unprecedented event, three volcanoes have become enraged simultaneously, and now there's a struggle with where to apply the resources. FYI, also had another Central America volcano begin erupting. Whole line is active there, and folks with major coronal holes here and more coming, trust me, we'd prefer if this is how the Earth released its pressure. Hmm, suppose we better not forget some perspective. Spaceweathernews.com, we find a calm star the last day. The thin dark lines between the larger dark patches of coronal holes are the plasma filaments writhing in the corona, and those present our primary eruption threat for the next few days. This is because flares will continue downward upon the departure of the southern active region. Earth-facing quiet needs ice for his knuckles after stifling this guy. Let's come back to the alert map and find 45-foot storm waves. Yes, 45-foot waves already having killed someone in Norway. And the culprit is that same Earth spot delivering flood after flood to the UK. Neither is going to stop today. Website members, pay attention. I gave you a homework assignment a few days ago, and here's the next one. If you'll remember, you go to suspiciousobservers.org, click Premium in the menu bar, and then, on your member's content portal page, choose the first section, Observing the Frontier Conference videos. You should have already watched number one, A Vital Lesson. And while there are six total episodes posted already, in my opinion, we will never cover a topic as important as number five, magnetic earth. This ties everything together, solar storms triggering earth events and just why earth is so much more vulnerable to space weather now than it was before. There will also be updates on both of those topics and more at Observing the Frontier Conference in Phoenix at the end of January. Looking over the talk titles, this could be even better than Pittsburgh, which I'll honestly say I doubted about a month ago. Members, you have your work lined up. It's time to add a touch of aggression when you use your mind as a weapon. It's easy to dream this dream, much harder to live it. We've got some shots of our star to close. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.